Greetings, this is Chef Jack coming to you through a video instead of online, or we are online instead of in person. Um, the first thing I'd just like to say is we will work together. I know none of us signed up for this, you or I, but together we'll try to get through um, the best we can our classes. And again, I know everyone's, you know, might be tense or nervous, but again, you know, I will help try to guide everyone through this process, and I think we're all going to learn together. Um, so what I did is I created a little video of the Blackboard, and I'll go through it so that this is normally what we would do the first day of class, is I would just kind of go through and explain the syllabus. Um, so we're going to go into culinary science. 200 and I've got a 202 class which is basic is exactly the same as this normally we would meet the 200 class would meet from 8 to 10 and then on the 202 class would meet from 1030 to 1230 and again there is no specific classes this is everything is online and we will just there's assignments due and I will be available during class time and office hours if you'd like to talk we can email or there is potential that we could collaborate kind of like virtually online through Blackboard also collaborate ultra is it what's it called um, so I'm just gonna go up to announcements is our first and I'll just kind of explain this so this will be in your Blackboard shell and I'll put this video actually once I've done creating it in the announcement page. So that's the first thing that you can see. If you, um, and then it just goes through. So the 13th, 13th, we're just kind of overviewing the class. We'll talk about what the outlines, the assignments are, and just get everyone's ideas on principles of cooking. And then there's a reading. And again, there's two books for this class, but for this online version, I would suggest going with the Gislin book. Um, there's You can have the 8th edition or the 9th edition. The McGee book is a very, it's a red book, and I'll show it later. It's a great book. I know a lot of chefs themselves have it. It just goes into great detail, and I'd highly recommend you getting that book. Um, but for this class, I would probably more recommend the ninth edition and you can also I'll show you give you a link that you can get a free copy of it online but it, again it's the same book that you're using in Mise en Place um, and then it will show the due dates on my screen right now I just it's clipped off but on yours it should be good um, so today's the 13th Next week, we'll be talking about heat. The quiz is due every Monday at midnight. So think of this very similar to the sustainability class. Um, we'll talk about it. We'll go through the PowerPoint. And then there will be a quiz on Blackboard that's due. Then the next week will be <clears throat> excuse me, basic food molecules, cooking methods. There will be a paper due, flavor and then on measurement. So just scrolling up to the top, that would be announcements, <clears throat> faculty information. There's my email, my work phone, or I've, I have my cell phone there. I would suggest that you give me a call or, or give me an email and we'll set up a specific time. Just don't call my cell. Um, that way I kind of know who's calling me and I can, you know, set other things aside that not that I'm doing something else and trying to answer your phone, your phone call. Um, when you email me something, put it in the email address of the culinary science. So it'd be 119.200 or if you're in the 202 class, just go 202. Um, and again, I'll be virtually available for sure on these times. But again, if you would like to set up at other times, we can email or we can also meet and collaborate and have kind of a virtual office meeting. Um, going down to the syllabus, 
the syllabus is it's been adjusted for six weeks because we only have six weeks of class left I will go through the syllabus and then when you're comfortable with that click on this link syllabus confirmation and just sign your name and then kind of answer these questions which just so I know that you've kind of read through the syllabus but again I will go through the syllabus with you for a discussion there are is a discussion board every week just kind of check in and talk about class you will have to participate in that um, and then respond twice to two other classmates discussions or talks um, and then over here is kind of a quick overview of points there's five outlines five quizzes one project six discussions and one spice house assignment so there's the points the percentages um, so the going up to the syllabus you click on the link and I already had it open so again it's the same time there is no class time specific but I will be available during class time for email exchange and or blackboard collaborate and then these are my virtual office hours but really I will try to meet you you know whenever you need to and again if you email me put in the class subject and the dates the, the 13th technically is when the classes start we will end on the 18th of May everything will be online the textbook it can be the science and lore of the kitchen by Harold McGee or um, the one that I'm recommending is professional chef that's your Gislin book and the publisher has made it available free online so if you just click on this link it'll take you you'll just have to sign up it'll email the link to your student account that's how they know that you're a student and then you'll sign up for the book um, just going down library sources these are some other optional references for you know for the curious cook flavor bible i highly recommend the cook wise is a nice one here's a couple um, video sites websites that you may be of interest and then again <clears throat> there's the link to the free online textbook and here is an outline of everything that we will do so for this week you are going to read one of these chapters you don't have to so the McGee book it would be these pages Gislin book the eighth edition is 105 through 117 the um, ninth edition book which is the current book that we're using in our labs is pages 121 through 120 111 through 121 and then you're going to start the outline and I'll show you that in a minute um, so then we will just as you're reading along kind of fill out the outline and then during this week I'll post a PowerPoint kind of PowerPoint video or the PowerPoint that I'd normally go through in class so you can take a look at that and that also will help you fill out this outline and then before next Monday the 20th you will submit the outline to me through blackboard participate in the discussion and then take the quiz and again you can take the quiz anytime the following week after Easter break um, but it, it'll be open but then it'll close on that Monday Monday the 20th and that'll be kind of the same routine there'll be a reading assignment discussion submit the outline and then take the quiz so again it's very similar to our sustainability class it's just um, online and and I don't get to cook you any fun stuff this semester and actually it's kind of a fun one here but maybe next in the fall I'll pop into some of your labs with some treats so we're scrolling down on the syllabus 
and so the weekly assignment so you've got an outline there's an outline due each week starting on the 20th it's worth 20 points and I'll show you that in a second again just by reading the the assigned chapters and going through the PowerPoint should take that outline and then essentially you just take that outline and use it for the quiz I mean really that's kind of the purpose of it it's you're reading it putting it down on paper and then you take that to take your quiz then you've got your quizzes there's weekly quizzes there's a project which I'll probably talk about this a little bit more in depth maybe next week um, I'll try to put up a little video every week so that people you know if I have common questions or answers to people I'll put them up um, but basically you're going to write a two-page paper and it's 500 750 words about how food has been industrialized over time um, kind of the pros and cons of it if you do have the McGee book which some of you I know do on 858 there's an industrialization check section and see these are some things that you could write about you know how bread has it been industrialized over the last 50 to 100 years cheese eggs gluten and if you think about it, you know, there, you know, meats used to be more grass-fed, but then they became industrialized, and now people are trying to go back to grass-fed meat, or free-range pastured eggs, you know, milk. How milk has been altered over the years. So it's really it's just anything that you're interested of. You know, how has it evolved over the last fifty to hundred years? Participation in discussion board that will be mandatory and again every week you'll get 16 points and basically check in answer the question and then respond to a couple of your fellow students you know their thoughts their experiences um, so it's you know it's just a way to keep contact with everybody and you know we can still kind of have some interaction there's some things that I'm looking for in the discussion board um, you know, I, I'll try to read and go through most of the points. If I see some questions, I'll answer them. If the discussion gets a little off track, I'll bring you back on the track. Um, you know, so, and you should submit and post early in the session, and then maybe go back towards the end of the week and try to answer or continue on with the discussion. And really, it's a great way for you to kind of stay connected. Um, you know, be polite, you know, again, it's, it's a virtual classroom, but all the, you know, etiquette should stay the same, you know, and we can talk about, you know, how it relates to work, if you are working, and that, that brings up another, you know, I know a lot of people are stressed at this po point, um, and school may not be your main focus. But, you know, and I get that, and, you know, I'll try to work with people. You know, my job this six weeks is just to get you through not only this class, but if you're, you know, other challenges that you may be having, I'm certainly here to try to help or point you in a direction. Spice House, I'll talk about that next week because this video is starting to get a little long. Um, and then this is kind of standard online stuff the syllabus so I'm going to click off of this and I'll go back into my shell blackboard shell um, so the main thing and I'll try to wrap this up quickly because you're probably getting bored of this right now um, and make sure you're not on your phones you've I've got your undivided attention so in here you've got under learning module one you've got the heat master the outline one and I'll just click on that it should open up and so this is an outline that you, as you read and again the pages are here as you read this you just kind of fill in these definitions and it kind of go, it goes on I think there's four pages and then 
the Gislin book ends here. The McGee book picks up here. But again, you do not have to do that. It's um, since the Gislin book is online, everyone can have it for free in case your books are locked up at school. Um, but again, you could go, th if you do want to do the McGee book, you could pick it up and go through here. Um, so I'll just minimize this. What I did, sorry, um, there's a PowerPoint. And again, after the 13th, I'll create this more into a video so you can just, I'll narrate it and walk through the PowerPoint just like I would in class, just like I did in sustainability. Um, and I did put in an example of an outline. So everything in yellow here is, you know, so the outline was blank, but all I'm looking for is just kind of fill in the pertinent words, you know, foods are composed of carbs, fats, water protein and mineral and this is all right straight out of the book and the idea is you know that you write this down which helps in your learning process and then basically all the answers for the quiz then come off these four pages from your outline so that's kind of the intent of that um, so if you have any specific questions on stuff just you know give me a shoot me an email and if I if I get a lot of the same questions I'll maybe create another little video <laughs> um, and then you've got the <clears throat> quiz down here then you can take that quiz it's due on the 20th and again it's very similar to sustainability it's um, you know you you have two shots at it if you don't like the first one you can take it a second time but again it's due Monday at midnight and again it's really the same for every week it'll be kind of the same rinse and repeat it'll just be a little different subject and I will hold off on the projects for now but to discussion board so you just click on the discussion board and click onto discussion board. Mine looks a little different than yours because I'm creating it. So you just click into the discussion and then for discussion, please introduce yourself, what you are looking forward to in this class and any challenges you may have about this class. So, you know, if you've got issues with Wi-Fi or computers, you know, let me know or just, you know, being alone in the house to study or whatever it is um, and we can kind of share our thoughts so I think that's about it for now um, again chef Jack and we will get through this one way or the other